Hello guys, Lifehackster here. If you're having connection issues, delayed response, and alerts on your ring cameras, then you might have Wi-Fi connectivity problem. If you're following my channel, last week I installed my ring floodlight camera. And because I installed it outside the garage, you know behind a brick wall and a metal garage door, I had problems connecting it to my Wi-Fi. I actually cannot find my Wi-Fi if I'm outside and the garage door is closed. So luckily, I have an old Wi-Fi extender which I installed inside the garage and that's the only place where I can get a good connection. And that's the only time my floodlight camera is able to connect. My only issue now is the high temperature in my garage, especially during summertime here in South Texas. So I don't know if my Wi-Fi extender will tolerate the high heat. Now, Ring has this product called the Ring Chime Pro, which is, is an indoor chime and Wi-Fi extender for the Ring cameras. Please note though that this will only work for Ring products. So basically, this product is a Wi-Fi extender and also a chime with multiple alert tones. If your current doorbell setup doesn't have a chime or you can just barely hear your doorbell, then this Chime Pro can alert you when your doorbell is pressed and also alert you with a different chime if a motion sensor is activated. You can assign different tones if you have multiple cameras so that you will know which ring camera was activated. Aside from being a chime, it is also a Wi-Fi extender. If your ring camera is a bit too far from your Wi-Fi router, then this Chime Pro will help you get a better signal. This is the reason why I bought this and see if it can help me improve my Wi-Fi signal to my floodlight camera without the need to put this inside the garage. Alright, let's open the box. Now here, we have the Ring Chime Pro unit itself. And a setup manual. And that's it. The unit is pretty compact and is designed to be directly plugged in in a power outlet. We have the two antennas and a plug on the back which is removable. I'm assuming it is removable so that it will can easily be swapped out in countries that have a different plug. And you can easily slide the plug plate back in. Alright, so let's plug this in. Now I'll open the app, click the plus sign to set up the device, scroll to the Chime Pro, click Setup. Name the device. Verify your address. And wait for the blue light on the logo to pulse slowly. Click continue. Then exit the app and go to your phone settings and to the Wi-Fi now click on the Chime Pro's Wi-Fi so you'll be able to connect to it then go back to the app 
and in which it will scan for wireless networks. Then you can choose which Wi-Fi it will connect to. This is the Wi-Fi that you need to boost the signal. So type in the password, then wait for the device to connect. Now it is connected and it will show you the screen of available ring cameras that you can connect to the Chime Pro. So I'll connect my ring doorbell first. It fluctuates from an OK signal to good depending on the time of the day. So right now it says it has a good signal. But I'll connect it to the Chime Pro anyway. Now I have to press the orange button on the back of my ring doorbell. Click continue. And the Chime Pro will connect to the ring doorbell. Now it is connected. I'll now turn on the ring and motion alerts. And now to test it out. Now let's see if I could connect my floodlight camera. Same thing, I need to push the top button to get the camera in setup mode. Now the Chime Pro will connect to the floodlight camera. Hmm. Well, it is not going to work. It is not able to connect to it. Let's try again. Same thing, I guess I need to plug this in the garage just to be able to connect to it. It does the same thing as my Wi-Fi extender. The location of the floodlight camera is just a dead spot for my indoor Wi-Fi. Well, let's just check out the different chimes that this Ring Chime Pro have. Now this is the default ringtone when somebody pushes the doorbell. I'll scroll through the different tones so that you can hear the different options. The sample will play on my phone first then I have to update it to be able to send the tone to the Ring Chime Pro. I like this dog barking one.
So in here you can pick different alert tones for the ring and also when motion is detected. You can also set up different tones to different ring cameras if you have more than two so that you'll be, you will know which camera has triggered the motion or when the button is pressed. Well guys, the Ring Chime Pro didn't work for me as an extender, and it is not the rings or my Wi-Fi's problem, but it's just the location of the floodlight camera. And I know a lot of people will install this in the garage area or on a brick wall with a metal garage door. I think Ring needs to check on probably the power line or using the home's electrical wiring to have a solid internet connection. Anyways, for now, I'll be using my Netgear Wi-Fi extender in the garage and the Ring Chime Pro will be returned or I'll exchange it with the Ring Chime. I like the different tones that I can choose and also will be alerted in the house even if I don't have my phone with me, especially in motion alerts. So there you have it guys, thanks for watching and hopefully you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more videos of everyday life hacks and product reviews. Thank you.